Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Previously I've been in need of a good time. In fact, I finished my first year of college not too long ago, and I've gotta say, it wasn't all that great. You see, with college, you're always told about how you're going to always be busy balancing your social life, and school, meeting new people, and joining clubs and whatnot. And you hear about all these wicked frat house parties where everyone's drinking, blasting music, the cops bust the place, all of that. Yeah, I wish that happened to me. So what my university decided to do is say no to just about all of that. Because of restrictions, there are no parties, we don't even have frat houses on campus. None of the clubs were active, the ones that were I either didn't qualify for or didn't have any interest in. I basically sat in my room the entire time regretting just about every one of my life choices. It was during this time of not speaking to any real person for two weeks on end that I started reminiscing on some of the crazier shit that I've done in the past. And over time, I started getting this idea of reviving this dead channel that I had. If you can even call it that, because I'm pretty sure that the channel first needed to be alive in order for it to be dead. To put it simply, I was bored. And not being able to hang out with people made me remember this one night of partying that I had when I was younger. So sit down, grab yourself a coke. I've got something to tell you. So this party was towards the end of 8th grade. You know, about a couple weeks before we would all graduate. During class, one of my friends gave me a paper invitation which had the address along with a list of things to do. And one of the things that I remember about the invitation was the fucking weirdest shit that was on the agenda for the party. We had our basics like food, music, a pool which I was excited about, a bonfire, pr pretty typical stuff. But then as I was throwing through the list, something caught in my eye. One of the items on the list was whipped cream fun. I was reading this at home with my mom, and we both kind of wondered what in the fuck whipped cream fun was. Along with that was silly string too, so I was starting to wonder like, what kind of kinky shit was this bitch into? I had never thought of like a birthday party or something where people just ran around spraying silly string at each other. All in all, I just sort of wrote it off as whatever and continued on with the rest of my night. Flash forward to the day of the party, my mom drives me over to the house and I start walking to the door. About halfway up the lawn where all I hear is two people screaming my name at the top of their lungs. So I'm confused as all hell, and I look up and see the host and one of my friends in the second story window looking at me. I wave up to them like, yeah, hey, what's up, like they didn't freak me out for a second or anything, and they have me meet them in the backyard. I head to the back and I see the bonfire, the swimming pool, a patio table, and another table with the whipped cream and silly string laid out. Again, I have no idea what the hell this is supposed to be used for. Eventually more people show up and the party gets started. We got music coming from the garage, people are talking, everything is fine. Now, remember when I said that I was excited for the pool? Well, I've sort of developed a habit over the years where whenever there's a pool at a party, I am guaranteed to stay in it way longer than I should. And I'm not just talking about like during pizza time, no I mean like the whole fucking night. And it's because of that that I came to the party already wearing swim trunks and not bringing any shorts for me to change into. And so, like always, the first thing that I do is start swimming. Now the issue here was that we were in like, late spring, right before summer started, which meant that the weather tends to do this thing where it wants to be warm and then it goes back down to like 45 degrees midday. And the day of the party just happened to be one of those cold days, which meant that literally nobody else was in the swimming pool but me. I'm sitting there alone, freezing my ass off, and the people there are probably thinking like, what is this asshole doing? Why is he just in this cold ass pool, you know? Eventually, the host mom comes out to check on everybody and suggests that I probably stop swimming, because it's cold on there, about to start eating and doing literally anything else besides swimming in freezing weather. I get out, dry myself off, and start eating with all the other people like a normal fucking person. Yeah, I, I was kind of a weird kid when I was little. I don't know why anyone hung out with me if I'm gonna be honest. I remember only eating like two slices of pizza anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. Then came the main event, the whipped cream fun. Finally, I could figure out what the hell this was going to be. And to be completely honest with you, I still have no idea what whipped cream fun is. Like, all we did was we each grabbed either a can of whipped cream or silly string, then chased each other around the alleyway like a bunch of fucking animals. And we all just went along with it, like we didn't care. So we wound up using all of the whipped cream and string. I remember me and like one other girl were the last ones left. 
I'm coming at her slowly down the alleyway with like whipped cream around my lips and silly string in my hair. I look like a fucking psychopath walking toward her like. <laughs> so rather than walking back into the garage that connects to the alley, we for some reason decided to just walk around the long way back to the street and then go through the front. I think it's because I might have chased her that way or something. We go around front and I see the host and this other girl doing cartwheels or some shit in the front even though everyone was in the back waiting on them. We get to them and we all head to the back. It dawns upon me that I am completely covered in sticky sugar and whatever the fuck silly string is made of so I decided that it was a good idea to dip my head into the pool to wash it all off. Now, this will be important later so remember this. It starts getting dark and the bonfire is lit and we all basically sit around it for the rest of the night. I don't remember there being too much that happened here apart from all of us talking, so nothing too special there. Except for one little thing. So around this age, I had never really been in front of too many fires in my life, so I didn't really know how close I was supposed to sit to it. Keep in mind as well, it was now dark and freezing, and all that I was wearing was short sleeves and some wet swim trunks, so I was even closer to the fire trying to stay warm. Eventually, as the night went on, I had been sitting so close to the fire that my eyes began to like sting. My eyes were hurting because of the ash from the fire literally blowing into my eyes from me sitting so close. And did I back up? No, silly, I just made sure to look up every once in a while. Sooner or later, the night comes to a close and my mom picks me up. I get home and I'm just completely tired from all the swimming, and running, and talking, and it was like 11 at night. So I decided I would take a shower in the morning. Now, this was probably like a Friday or Saturday, so it wasn't like we had school or anything. So the second that I get home, I immediately change and then I go to bed. Worst fucking decision of my entire life. Because the issue was that I was completely covered in swag, chlorine, silly string, whipped cream, and ash. I smelled like complete garbage. And at the time, this smell didn't really hit me until about 1.30 in the morning, when I woke up to what I can only describe as the smell of burnt rubber, expired sugar, and like sewage or something. It was awful. I eventually figured out that the smell was coming from my pillow, which in turn meant that it was actually coming from my hair, and for the rest of the night, I just kept waking up to it. I only got about like two hours of sleep that night because it was just so bad. Eventually, morning comes and I'm just completely dead. I smell awful, I have a rash on my legs from the net inside of my swim trunks, and I'm just exhausted. I finally take a shower to get the smell off of me, and I don't really smell, so I'm like, okay, it's gone, I can breathe. But it wasn't. What I would come to learn the next night, that the smell stuck around like skunk, it would just stick to whatever object it touched. So for the next three nights, I just couldn't get any sleep because it stuck so bad on my pillow, to the point that I would only sleep from exhaustion and wake up wanting to vomit every hour. I even tried spraying it with my cologne, probably like an axe or something, and even that didn't work. Eventually, the smell did fade away from the pillow, but not from my memories, good god. I wish that I could just pull it from my mind and let you all have a whiff of it, just so you knew what I had to do with trying to sleep those nights. So yeah, that was one of the last times that I saw my friends. Within the next weeks, we had all graduated and I moved away from there. I did go to one more party that summer after, but that's a story for another time. I guess the lesson that I have to take away from all of this is, no, there is no fun to be had with whipped cream. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the story, and I'll catch you all later.